Hello and welcome to Wooden Slept, a channel for intelligence and curious people like you who are searching for or want to know the different nuances of human sexuality in the age of artificial intelligence and the rapid emergence of very advanced sex robots. How does a sex robot or a love doll or a pleasure doll or a human partner, whatever you want to call it, faces the challenges to replace a human partner. There are several challenges. One of the main challenge is the joint stiffness. You know, human joints are flexible, right? We can easily move our different types of joints like elbow, like knee, and uh, like the leg joints, neck, etc etc i don't want to elaborate you know that but in case of a humanoid robot it makes a lot of difference in this video i'll show you and i will discuss this topic and today's question is how this variable stiffness affects the ability in humanoid robots to dynamically adjust the resistance of its joints that means the joints of a human and robot always resist always resist to circumvent the locomotion the movement and it gives a lot of trouble to the robot makers to the robotists to the scientists and technologists and engineers to make them appear not only appear to make them or to allow them to act like human joints the same flexibility they want to bring forward the same flexibility but it's a very difficult task now there is a term in the robotics in the industry variable stiffness okay what is variable stiffness i uh, i'm uh, going to discuss this and i'm going to also try to answer the our question how a human and robot partner This is the challenge of conquering the problems of the stiffness of joints. Because you know, in the moment of physical intimacy, in sexuality, of course, in, in, in any kind of sexual acts, joints play a very important role. Now, variable stiffness basically refers to the ability to dynamically adjust the resistance of joints, offering several advantages over fixed stiffness. Because this fixed stiffness makes everything very cumbersome, very problematic, and it does not allow a human and robot partner to move freely. Now, what are the mechanisms? There are several mechanisms that can achieve variable stiffness. Variable stiffness is what? Variable stiffness is to just uh, face the challenge of fixed stiffness okay, and solve the problem. Variable torque actuators are very active in this field. These actuators can adjust their output torque in directly controlling joint stiffness. Common examples include electrohydraulics by changing the flow rate of hydraulic fluid because inside a hydraulic fluid, there is a flow of hydraulic fluid inside the joints, inside uh, the robot's partner's uh, joints. Joint resistance is regulated. Okay. Second thing is, Magnet or halogenical or MR fluids. These fluids change viscosity under magnetic fields, altering the damping effect at the joints. And the third thing is shape memory alloys or SMAs. These alloys, it's a kind of material, of course, change their shape and stiffness in response to temperature or electric current. Now, there are passive compliance mechanisms, of course springs there are springs clutches and other mechanical elements that can be integrated into the joint design to provide adjustable passive stiffness independent of active actuations of course so these are all very technical terms but at the end of the day you get a humanoid robot partner which is almost not only look alike but also act like your humanoid partners and to do that this we we want to face the challenges of fixed stiffness and solve it 
right so that is it today for me in the next video we'll meet uh, very soon till then goodbye stay safe and take care